Today we are going to begin to learn about the rainforest. As you will see in the pictures that I sent to your parents phone, the part of the world where most of the rainforests are is right below this imaginary line called the equator. So most of our rainforests are down below the equator. The rainforest we're going to be talking about the most is the Amazon rainforest in South America. More animals and plants live in the rainforest than anywhere else in the world. In the Amazon rainforest, it is always hot, and in the heat, everything grows and grows and grows. The tops of the trees in the rainforest are called the canopy. The canopy is a sunny place that touches the sky. The animals that live there like lots of light. Colorful parrots fly from tree to tree. Monkeys leap from branch to branch. And the bottom of the rainforest is called the understory. The understory are the lower branches above the floor. In the rainforest, the bottom is the floor. The animals that live in the understory like darkness. That's because they're shielded from the light by the canopy. There, silent snakes curl around hanging vines. Graceful jaguars watch and wait. And in this steamy environment, the great kapok tree shoots up through the forest floor and emerges up through the canopy. <clears throat> Excuse me. When something emerges, it goes through. So as you will see, the kapok tree grows right through the canopy and right up through the top of the rainforest. This is a story of the community of animals that live in one such tree in the rainforest. The Kapok tree, the great Kapok tree by Lynn Cherry. Two men walked into the rainforest. Moments before, the forest had been alive with the sounds of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men and wondered why they had come. The larger man stopped and pointed to a great kapok tree. And then he left. Can you see what the men were carrying? The smaller man took an axe that he carried and struck the trunk of the tree. Whack, whack, whack. The sounds of the blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat that ran down his face and his neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop. Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great kapok tree, and before he knew it, the heat and the hum of the forest had lulled him to sleep. A boa constrictor lived in the kapok tree. He slithered down the trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash that the ax had made in the tree. And then the huge snake slid very close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home. 
where generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. A bee buzzed in the sleeping man's ear. Senor, my hive is in the kapok tree, and I fly from tree to tree and flower to flower, collecting pollen. In this way, I pollinate the trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, all living things depend on one another. If we have no bees, we have no trees. A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the kapok tree. They chattered to the sleeping man, Senor! We have seen the ways of man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away, and the forest will become a desert. Because if you don't have the trunks of the kapok trees to hold the soil in place, all that soil is washed away, all the plants are washed away, all the trees are washed away, and the land becomes a desert. A toucan, a macaw, and a cock of the rock flew down from the canopy. Senores, squawked the toucan, you must not cut down the tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what happens once you begin to chop down the trees. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbrush, and soon the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only black and smoldering runes remain. We have a toucan, we have a macaw, and we have a cock of the rock and they probably came down from the canopy. A bright and small tree frog crawled along the edge of a leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped in the man's ear, Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives, many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down the great kapok tree. Here you have the tree frogs. A jaguar had been sleeping along a branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat blended into the dappled light and shadows of the understory, no one had noticed him. Now he leapt down and he padded silently over to the sleeping man. He growled in his ear, Senor. The kapok tree is home to many birds and animals. If you cut it down, where will I find my dinner? Four tree porcupines swung down from branch to branch and whispered to the man, Senor. Do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And, senor, do you know what trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will destroy that which gives us all life. Because we all need trees to live because trees give out oxygen and we need oxygen to breathe. Several anteaters climbed down the kapok tree with their young clinging to their backs. See the anteaters? We're going to hear about giant anteaters and pygmy anteaters and silky anteaters. The unstriped anteater said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down the tree with no thought for the future. And surely you know that what happens tomorrow depends upon what you do today. 
The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children, who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. You can see the baby ant eaters on the back of their moms. A three-toed sloth had begun climbing down from the canopy when the man first appeared. That's how long it took for this beautiful sloth to get down, because they are the slowest mammals in the world. Only now did she reach the ground. Plodding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man, she spoke in her deep and lazy voice. Senor, how much is beauty worth? Can you live without it? If you destroy the beauty of the rainforest, on what would you feast your eye? A child from the Yanomomo tribe who lived in the rainforest knelt over the sleeping man and he murmured in his ear, Senor, when you awake, please look upon us all with new eyes. There are people that live in the rainforest and without a rainforest, they would have no home. The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest child, and all around him, staring, were the creatures who depended upon the great kapok tree. What wondrous and rare animals they were. The jaguar, the sloth, the anteaters, the tree frogs, the macaw, the cock of the rock, the toucan, the boa constrictor, so many animals in the rainforest. The man looked about and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of bright light glowed like jewels amidst the dark green forest. Strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air suspended from the great kapok tree. The man smelled the fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt the steamy mist rising from the forest floor. But he heard no sound, for the creatures were strangely silent. The man stood and picked up his axe. He swung back his arm as though to strike the tree and suddenly he stopped. He turned and he looked at the animals and the child. He hesitated, then he dropped the ax and walked out of the rainforest. At the beginning of the book, the author tells us that she wrote the great Kapok tree to let the world know what happens to the rainforest creatures and the entire planet when rainforests are destroyed. She hopes that after reading this book, you will help to save the rainforest. As I said earlier, this is about the Amazon rainforest. But there are other rainforests in the world as well. We will learn how much of the rainforest is being destroyed every day. And you will also learn how much we get from the rainforest. Most of our medicines are from plants in the rainforest. Our fruits, our vegetables. There is so much that we depend upon the rainforest to give us. 
So as we begin to learn about the rainforest and its layers, which are the floor, the understory, the canopy, and the emergent layer, you'll also learn about the different animals that live in all the layers of the rainforest.